Hey, this is Heidi from Heidi's Custom Vinyl Decals. I am going to be um, showing how to put your decal on your bucket. It's a five gallon bucket. It's uh, clean, never been used for anything other than this purpose. It will have a light put in it. Um, surface is clean and dry, dust free. Um, this is how your vinyl comes. It has this sheer it's like masking tape, kind of a backing, and that's what pulls the decal off of this waxy back, like any sticker that comes on this wax paper. Um, but this will pull the decal off, and I've kind of held this up and kind of figured where I want it. If you want to mark it um, where you want it, you can use a painter's tape to mark your corners of where you want to put it and put your tape right here and right here to kind of make a corner so you know where to line your um, your decal up. I'll show you just I just eyeball mine but it doesn't always uh, line up how how you want it to. So I've just ripped off and I'm going to use these the flat edges where I want it and I am still eyeballing it you can measure here to here here to here to get your you know in your space on the bottom or if you prefer it up higher um, that's fine too just wherever you desire it to be and I've got it centered the handles are right here on each side um, you know so the handle doesn't come down over it which you could take it off if you want but I'm going to keep the handle on mine because we use it to store stuff. And this is too, too wide. So I'm cutting, making little skinny strips. If you've got tape that's not as wide, that's good too. So using the flat edge, it's kind of hard to do one-handed. I'm just marking my corner and really you only need to do one side if it lines up on there it should line up on everything but if it's more um, comforting for you let's see if I can make this happen with one hand holding the bucket and the decal if you have somebody that can help you that's always a good option too so I'm not taping it to the bucket, just making my corners. That's a guide there. So now I'm going to peel this off and your decal should come completely off this backing. And if it doesn't, you lay it back down and um, let's see if I can, you lay it back down and give it a rub with your um, your squeegee or your credit card. I send uh, a squeegee with all of my decals. So we're gonna hope that this just all comes off so I don't have to take any more time. Just keeping it real, you know? Nothing's perfect, nothing's foolproof. So these little all these little, like the points on the end, the O, these little middle of the R's and the A, sometimes those will have an issue. Let me see if I can just come out here a little bit without moving my camera. I'm just gonna rub on those, maybe the middle of that, this word, all these littler things, just to make sure they come off. Yep, that does not wanna release. Very good, right there. So I'm gonna squeeze it with my hand and there we go, it came off. Sometimes it just needs a little help. So now I'm just peeling this off. Let's see if I can turn it this way. See, it should all stick to that backing. That keeps everything in place, nice and neat. And there. It's all clear. Set that aside. Now, once you touch this down, 
it consider it stuck so kind of keep your this is where having a another person handy you know to help you because you don't want to touch the black if possible and I'm just going to line mine up on these corners here that we made a guide I have a feeling that's not going to be straight but so then I'm still holding this out and I'm going to and have somebody hold the bucket firm for you or put something heavy in it if you don't have somebody to help you. So we want to get all the bubbles out. You can hear. There's some bubbles. And it's not the end of the world. If there's a bubble, I'll show you what to do. So yeah, that didn't line up perfectly, but that's okay. <laughs> I think the roundness of the bucket kind of plays a little bit, but you won't know this. So, <clears throat> rub that good. Excuse me. Get that. You want the decal stuck. You can hear the bubbles. We're just going to... Sometimes it's this little white, these white parts. See, it's got bubbles in there and that doesn't, that won't affect it. Not straight out, not flat, just kind of, and go slow so if something's not stuck down, you can go back and rub it and get it, you know, to stick. This is a, a high-tack vinyl, so it sticks really good to any smooth, clean, dry, dust-free surface. Those kind of lifted, so I'm just gonna just go nice and slow, nice and easy, and then you should be able to rub little air bubbles. If you get a big air bubble, um, if it bugs you, you can take a pin, like a tack or a push pin or a sewing pin or needle, um, or the tip of a sharp blade even and just puncture it and then use like your fingernail or the tip of your squeegee card to kind of rub it out. I've got a little bubble there but it's for camping. I'm not too concerned about it. Some of them if they're on the edge you can rub rub them out. I don't know if you can see this on there. See that bubble under the tree? I uh, should be able to go down maybe. Either down or over to an open surface. Like I said, I'm not too concerned. I can get there. See, it's out. There's another one, but it's right next to there. Sometimes it's easier to just push it. Okay, you get your tape off. Hopefully you found a cool flashing color light or a bright white light even is fun. And you should get lots and lots of use out of this. Thanks for watching.